Alright guys, I want to go ahead and open up this pack today, so I said why not hit the record button, let's go ahead and get it started guys. We have a huge lineup update too, but our uh, first thing I want to go ahead and bring up, and then we're getting right into this pack start in this video, is tomorrow's, one of tomorrow's ULs actually got revealed. Keep in mind by the way, this pack is 3 plus 91 overall players, so could be really good or really ugly. Okay, it's a ghost player. This might not have... Oh, okay, wait, Super Bowl player. This is 91. Okay, well, that was actually pretty horrendous. I've opened this up one other time, and I'm going to show you guys this now. Um, Let me go to recent captures and take a look at this. I've opened this up one other time. Yeah, right here. So let's go ahead and play this while we go ahead and pull up the... um. Brand new uh, UL for tomorrow. I actually put it on my community tab. So, there we go. Okay, it's playing. Alright. Skip forward in this video. To be honest, this pack in the history for me has been pretty mid. It's not. It hasn't really ever been too insane for me. It's been always been pretty mid. So, I wasn't expecting too much going into this pack. Last time I opened it, the first time I opened it, I actually did pull a pretty dang good pull, which you're going to see right here. I did also pull in the Ghost, but I pulled 95 overall fridge, which actually is pretty dang good. Like, I can't even complain about that. You know, like, I actually cannot even complain about that pull. That was actually a pretty good pull. But usually, I'm kind of hit and miss on that pack. Sometimes I pull something good, sometimes I pull absolutely dog water. Uh, luckily... That one time I actually pulled something good. Alright, so here is the actual Mel Blunt. So this is one of our legend, Ultimate Legends for tomorrow, of course. And it's a 97 overall. Keep in mind, there most likely will be one limited time and then another UL. So probably two ULs, one limited time, three ULs for the weekend. 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 95 agility, 97 jumping, 94 play rack, 97 man, 97 zone, and 95 press. He's not bad. He's pretty much God tier. Now, I will say overall wise, I'm interested. I'm interested in picking him up, but I just want to know what his price tag is going to be. And based on what we have seen from these other players so far, UL wise, his price tag is probably going to be like 1.2, 1.3 mil. I couldn't see his price tag being anything less than that. By the way, that Dalvin Cook actually went for 150,000 coins. Not bad at all. Um, because of the fact that the rest of the ULs. So let me go ahead and pull up the rest of the ULs. And let's take a look at these price tags. I do have two ULs. I have um, Dante Culpepper and Bo Jackson. A reason why they're so expensive though is because they're not limited time, right? You can't pull them out of training packs. The only way you can pull them really is through packs or through getting... Um, through actual packs or going through the... Um, sets that's the only way you can actually get these and i did open up a couple ul packs actually let's go ahead and take a look at what the price tags are i think they did drop a tad bit they were like a million coins yeah they were on a milli uh last week now they're around like 700 800 000 coins so a little bit less than they were last week it was still somewhat similar i did open up one of these packs i opened up a ul pack you open up two um i don't think i have the first recording in the first pack but I definitely had a second recording. Yeah, here we go. So I had the second one. I don't have the first one recorded. For some reason, I guess I forgot to hit the record button on the, on the first one. Which kind of sucks because I also didn't really pull anything good. I will say though, out of these Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs, I, for some reason, I don't know why, I get really mad lucky at pulling 191 per pack. Which isn't much, right? It isn't really that good. But that's like my, always my highlight of these Ultimate Legend packs. And based on what I've been told from other people, it seems like everyone is pretty much having that same problem slash issue with UL packs. Is that everyone's pulling the same exact thing. 191 overall. Which... I don't know, man. Maybe you guys tell me down below if you guys have had absolute crazy luck with the UL packs. I personally have not had any crazy luck with them. I'm pulling the same old, same old every single time. And that's pretty much that. And I'll be honest with you. 
So this is what the team is looking like. By the way, I'm now level 54. I got 98 Gronk. I've been grinding online a lot. I do I have um, uh, the fridge. I also upgrade all my um, Gridiron Guardian players with the pals. But anyway, though, I don't know. There's like, I'm at a, now at a point, right? Because look at my offense alignment, right? They all have 99 pass block. Every single one. So now I'm at a point. It's like, I don't want to upgrade my offensive line really for the rest of the year. I really don't. Because I already feel like they're pretty much maxed out for what I care about. And as we already know, stats for the most part do not matter. So it's not like they're going to do anything that's going to change the game or absolutely, you know, change the whole show. And for tight ends, I might upgrade. If we get like, if we get like a Vernon Davis, I'm thinking about the tight ends I would actually want. Vernon Davis would be one of the tight ends I actually want. Um... There's not many t Tony G maybe, like there's not many tight ends I really actually care about too much. I mean, I the only tight ends I really care about is what was his name? Um, oh the guy for the Tennessee Titans, not the Lenny Walker, the old guy, Patriots and Titans I think he was. He's the only guy I really care about a tight end because he has such good run block. And then wide receiver is like, ninety percent of my offense is ran through Bo Jackson, whether I'm throwing the ball to him or running the football. And then if I get in the goal line, it's just a mixture of these two. Like, my receivers, for the most part, maybe T. Higgins gets the most looks, and that's it. No one else actually gets used in my offense. And then defensively, I am going for the best secondary possible. And I, Mel Blunt looks very nice, and does so does that um, Pac-Man Jones. Uh, Charles, wait, not Pac-Man Jones. Was that Charles Tillman? Charles Tillman, whatever. Um, but... And I'll probably just completely... Is that Pac-Man? I, I, honestly, my brain is... No, that's Adam Jones, is Pac-Man. But, um, yeah, so these are the cornerbacks we're currently rocking. Which, to be honest, even these guys are actually pretty much god tiers. 99 man, 96 zone, 96 speed. I will say, though, so I have medium route KO and deep route KO on these guys, right? These guys, this medium route and deep route, I'm learning very quickly, does not matter. Like, if you run man coverage, yet, which is the meta in Madden uh, 23, I'm realizing there's so many different man beaters in Madden at this point. And at this point, every single person playing online knows them. That, like, even when I run man blitzes in any way, I get absolutely destroyed. Even when people run them against me. Like, I get ran against man all the time, and even I know how to beat them. So it's, like, kind of funny how man KOs just really, are, at this point, pointless in this game. Um... But other than that, yes, yeah, it's rocking a pretty basic squad. D uh, Linebacker-wise, I'm not going to upgrade the linebackers. I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to upgrade my linebackers. I don't use them. Like, I use these. I probably use this guy, Cole Banks, and Ted Hendricks, and that's it. Everyone else, all these two guys are subbed in and subbed out for middle for strong and, strong and free safeties. And that's pretty much how I'm running my team at this point. But tell me down below your thoughts opinions. Where do you think I should upgrade next? That's my question. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.